we swap out the window in the closet today at the House Edition. Welcome back to the House Edition. So this morning, I want to go ahead and swap this window out in the closet, take this big window out, and put the new small window in. It's a little hopper window. This is the window right here. So I'm just going to go ahead, pull that window out, but at the same time, I'm going to try to save the J channel and reuse that to trim around this window. And then I'll probably just put back siding, just piece siding in, just temporarily, because later I'll deal with weaving all the siding in when I get all the supplies to do the siding for the entire edition. So let's get started. I pulled the screws out of the jam. Now I just have to cut the caulk loose. So what I want to do is just remove this lower 2x4 just because I want to gain as much height from the floor as possible. It's so close. 70 inches. I don't think I'm going to remove anything at all. It's so close. It's only like 2 inches lower. But I think it's worth the time savings just to leave it as it is. At this point all I have to do is a little bit of framing just to enclose the opening and I'll have to pad in one of the sides. Come on. Yeah. So I'm just trying to be stingy right now and only frame in when I need to and only side what I need to. I'll come back later once I get the whole siding package for the outside of the addition and I'll weave it all in properly. So the actual opening it needs to be 32 by 14. About 35 and 7 eighths. I'll just bone that away. Thirty-six and eleven. Thirty-six. So now we need one piece just to make the top thirty-two. So I'm gonna try to shift it to the left. So I'll put a stick on this right side. Well, Fourteen does, don't we? Now, I got a window. I just tacked a couple nails in while I was out there, so I'll go ahead and nail it out now, and then we'll try to get the window tossed in.
Okay, I'm gonna try to reuse these pieces of J just to make it easy for right now. Later, I'll go ahead and get all the siding I need, but for this one window, mostly I'll be able to caulk this away. You'll never be able to tell. Plus, it'll match the existing siding better. Let the set you over there so you don't get soaked. But I'll sit out here in the rain. One. Beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful. like cold, old siding. Okay, it stopped raining. I can bring you back out. So I'll be the first to tell you that I'm not happy with that, but necessity dictates that I can at least just get it watertight. And, because it's gonna rain tomorrow, and it's already raining today. So I was just in such a rush, I don't have the time to take all the siding down and trim it and then install all the siding. I just would rather wait until later when I'm gonna do the whole siding, this whole side. And then I can weave in full pieces and make it look good and I'll caulk it out and make sure it's all watertight at that time. So, please don't judge me based on what I've just done there. <laughs> well, I guess you can judge me, but please don't think I'm gonna leave it like that. Let me just put it that way. So, in the next clip, I'm gonna call about the window. It should have been in three days ago. So once I have that, the door is on the shelf and I can toss those in at the same time. So, if not, I'm just gonna keep going down the list and checking all the items off, and that way, at least I know I'm ready for a framing inspection. I called and talked to the chief building inspector and he said it's not a concern to not have the window or door, but he said be sure that the window meets egress, which I know that it does. So if 
we don't have the window, it shouldn't be a problem. They said they can see it on a final inspection. So, I hope you'll join me in the next clip where we keep checking items off the list and get ready for the framing inspection. I'll see you then.